This is Petercraft's airship, and this is mine. Hello everyone, this is Crafterman, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Green Plateau. So first let me just say yes to this guy, because we are we are not decorating, we are building this plane, and trying to make it uh, kind of somewhat of a match for that. <laughs> I think that's how to spell it. Yeah, so this is um, XGaming111, he just joined my world very recently, this is the first episode he's ever been in, and yeah, he is, he uh, luckily chose to be on my side even though he was offered to be on Petercraft's side, and he's not going to be at the battle tomorrow when I'm fighting that thing, but at least uh, he will be um, he will be helping me build my plane, because I was actually flying this plane through here, but Petercraft's airship like fired a TNT cannon at it and blew up most of it, and the engine's dead, now it's completely gone, so we can forget about flying this thing. So, yeah, uh, just a sec, dude. So, um... I'll just ask, uh, what do you need? Uh, so, let's see. That is pretty strong. So, um, I was actually uh, saving up a lot of obsidian to build a wall to keep Petercraft out. But A, that's what Donald Trump would do. And B, it's a I should actually use that obsidian for something else. I was thinking, maybe I could cover this ship in obsidian. So, some tables, chests, and stuff. Okay, um, I'll give you the materials. I'll give you the materials. Uh, yeah, just, he says just give me wood. So you can have this and this. Um, so yeah, this, uh, red wool is actually, I'm going to be to, like, decorate the back of this ship, but I'm not sure. Well, wait, I got a great idea, guys. Um, since the only thing that's really intact here is the bottom, maybe that this ship could be in the shape of a bird, a red-headed woodpecker, like I am. And, yeah, the, um, the black obsidian could be for, like, the body and the arms, and the red could be for, like, the head. It could look, like, just like me. That'd be a great way to rep resemble our side. So I'll just write K. Uh, do we have any, though? Um, I'm not sure, uh, if we have any. Uh, maybe... I don't know. We don't. We don't need a farm. We don't need a farm. So yeah. Um. Sorry, dude, but we can't build a farm at 2,000 feet. <laughs> it's just not very logical. So yeah. Um. But the seeds. Uh. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to give you those. Oh, I didn't mean to give you those. I was just clearing my inventory. So, yeah, um, so now, uh, you can start decorating. You can start decorating. And I'll, uh, um, yeah, I'll start building this. So let's see, how should we do this? I think the first thing we should do is get rid of all the quartz that's not on, like, the, the belly area of the bird. So, yeah, if you just made a crafting table, cool. That means it's gonna start crafting soon. <laughs> and, yep, okay, um... Trying to collect all this quartz to make sure none of it falls. Come on, please don't fall, please don't fall. Actually, I don't think a single quartz block has fallen so far. So now I'm going to just take this. And, yeah, be very careful here. We're, we're pretty high altitudes here. Okay, one of them fell. But not the end of the world. So I have to be as careful as snaz nah, not to fall. Okay, uh, wait, I should keep that ceiling light just for now. And... Oh, so sorry, sorry. Sorry. I was just breaking the ceiling, dude. Okay, mine this, and, uh, okay, 31, and another 64. That should be good enough. It says we're safe. Uh, yeah, I know. Oops, I <laughs> misspelled the yeah other. Wait, did you break that lamp? Oh, it's turning back on again. I really like those lamps, those ceiling lights. You can turn them on and off. It's pretty darn cool, y'all. So, sorry, uh, that's K. Okay. So, let's see. How should we do this? The bill is like that. So, maybe we should expand this a bit. Um, like, like this way, I mean. Uh, so I'm just going to do this until I run out of materials. Let's see, do I have the other stack? Yes, I do. I should have plenty of materials. That should not be a problem. And, yeah, then I'm going to use obsidian for the rest of the outline except for the head. Okay, um, he needs a pickaxe. So I'll just say, I'll just give this to him here. Right here. So, hopefully, I won't need this for mining away the obsidian, so I'm going to try to place every obsidian block perfectly. But now that I gave him the pick, like, what kind of is this? Thanks, uh, sure. 
Uh, oh, he gave it back to me. Good, I thought he would need it forever. That was kind of scary. It was like, imagine trying to break obsidian with your hand. Can you even do that? I'm not exactly sure whether it's like, you can do it, but it takes forever and you don't pick it up, or you can't do it at all. So, yeah, so how should we do the rest of this? Maybe we'll do it like, uh, instead of arms like I have, we'll have wings, I guess. But first I have to pick all of this up here. So, um, I'm going to put one block here. That can start expanding like this. Haha, -ha, yeah. And maybe I'll expand, like, one up from here, too. So, it'll just be, like, out one this way. Kind of, yeah. So it's gonna be a pretty big bird. <laughs> not to... I did not mean to make a Sesame Street reference there. I do not watch Sesame Street, guys. L -l -l Seriously, I'm not lying. Take my word for it. Uh, I'm not a baby. <laughs> well, okay, how do you build a chair? Um, look it up in... In the crafting guide, uh, press G to uh, go to it. Because I have this really cool mod, guys, called the crafting guide. You press G and you can look, research any item and exactly how to craft it. This is I know. Okay, if you know, then why'd you ask me? Oh, whatever. So I'm going to build this now. So it's going to be like going... Oh, dang it. I have to break this now. <laughs> uh, so frustrating when you're trying to build out of obsidian. <laughs> Why couldn't I have just made a wall instead? It would be so much easier, and it wouldn't matter if I placed something in the wrong place. I don't think a wall would really help Petercraft. It's because, like, if you're trying to keep someone out of somewhere, building a wall is really not going to help. It is, even if it does work, it's very inefficient, and you know Petercraft could just fly over. He, like, he's got an airship there, so that's kind of why I didn't build the wall. It's, it's like trying to, um, I don't know, trying to keep... Like, a plate, a military plane out with a wall. It's not going to work. <laughs> so this is pretty good for now. So I'm just going to pile one more up this way. So it's going to be two like this now. And then the wings will branch out from here. And that's where we're going to have some dispensers to fire arrows at um, Petercraft's ship. And uh, this is Petercraft's ship. But, of course, uh, his deputy, Kaboominator, did all the work. Oh, uh, wait, this thing is higher. Yes, um, it's uh, in the shape of a bird. It's going to be pretty cool. A red-headed woodpecker, which I am. Uh, it doesn't really look like a bird right now. Well, well, it's gonna be. <laughs> I'm trying to type really fast as I talk. <laughs> I thought it was a fish. LOL. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pile this up here and here. And now I'm going to actually uh, expand out a bit <laughs> so I can make like the tail. But once I finish doing this, Oh, dang, and I place this in the wrong place again. That uh, is going to take forever. I really hate mining obsidian. I, I should have brought a better pickaxe, but my, my emerald pickaxe broke. It was so good, though, when I'd have to break it. It was like, you normally I just repair my emerald pickaxes, but I kind of ran out of emeralds, and I couldn't repair it. So it just kind of broke. I, um, I usually keep an eye on it, and I would have saved it before when I got more emeralds, but I was just mining carelessly and not really thinking about what I was doing, so all of a sudden it just broke, and I was like, dang it. Okay, um, I'm going to pile this here, so there are going to be wings on both sides. I don't see why there has to be a wing on this side, but this is probably going to be just a one-use ship, so yeah. And um, Petercraft duh, may have a TNT... Oh, my tweezers, I almost died. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, I fell off. Wow. That is so pathetic. Oh, uh, you know what this means, guys? I might have to pile up with obsidian. He says, oh. Just, oh. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, I'm just gonna pile up now. Maybe, like, uh, with this red wool. That should be okay, actually. I'm just gonna shear it away so no one tries to burn down the ship by, like, lighting this on fire. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, Kaboominator is Petercraft's deputy, and of course Petercraft made him build the ship. <laughs> there you are. Yes, I piled up. I piled up. So, this airship, do you think we really can take it? Uh, yeah, it's, um, Kaboominator's village. Oops, no. A uh, village. Yeah. And we're, f we're fighting in his territory. And Sandian Express's village is actually on the other side over there. So this is actually the desert in between Kaboominator and Sandian Express's village. Petercraft's deputy and my, well, 
San isn't my deputy. Pinecone 21 is, but she sucks. So San, well, she sucks in battle because she doesn't care at all. So San is my, I guess, my deputy of war, let's say. Um, really, I'm at, oh, at the end of uh, this season, season two, I'm going to have an election for who's going to be a deputy in season three. Because uh, I've been proved, it's been proven that I don't make the best decisions. Because I chose Pinecone as my deputy when I was drunk. So I'm gonna let you guys decide. So everyone who wants to be deputy is gonna give a speech in that episode, and I'll let whoever comments on that video, uh, that's gonna count as one vote. So yeah, I'm gonna just break this because I don't need it right now. So now I'm gonna start making the wings, y'all. So I just need this to pile up for now, but it's not gonna be permanent, of course, because it looks really ugly. So I don't think we need the floor to be made out of obsidian, do we? No, we don't. Because who's going to bomb the floor, seriously? <laughs> um, and just to make it look like a woodpecker, I'm going to... Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm going to make some of this made out of quartz. So it's going to be Petercraft is going to think that he can bomb our ship. But he can't. Where can I put the shelf? I'll just say anywhere. Petercraft's going to be able to think he can bomb the ship, but there's actually going to be obsidian underneath that, so he's just going to waste his TNT, and then he won't be able to use it for other stuff. <laughs> wow, I'm, I just thought of that, literally. I am such a genius, y'all, and I'm really modest as well. I'm a modest genius. I never brag. That's why I'm awesome. <laughs> Lol, just kidding. Uh, so, I'm going to make this like this, and is this wing good enough? Well, okay, good enough, I would say. So I have to rem remember how to do this for the other side. So it's uh, 1, 2, 3 this way, then 1, 2, 3, 4 that way. I think I can remember that. I think. Oh, I almost fell off again. Then I have to pile up again. That would have been so frustrating. So I'm just going to maybe copy this more or less. Um, so like this, I guess. And build this out. Wait, did I do it wrong? Please don't tell me I did it wrong. Dang it, I did it wrong. Uh, I hate when I do that. Actually, it's not so bad the, now that I'm used to things taking forever when mining obsidian. Okay, it's almost done. Come on, please break, please break, please break. Uh, yes, I'm going to try not to place obsidian in the wrong place for the rest of this episode. Do you think I can do that, guys? Uh, no, I don't think I can either. <laughs> so can you break the, break the what? Well, come on, finish that sentence, please, dude. Finish. Okay, and this wing is done. So now it looks kind of like a red-headed... Well, wood, well, the the body looks kind of like one. So now this is actually sort of a bird. Um, break what? <laughs> and, excuse me, guys. Oh, it wants me to break the quartz. Oh, okay. I don't really need that anymore, so yeah. I can break that. So now what I need to do is start working on the head of this ship. No pun intended, but that that isn't even a pun at all. So, sorry, Glass, you're going to get broken. Because <laughs> I need to make something better than you. Okay, I'm going to mine this, and wait, do I have another stack of quartz? Yes, I do. Should be really good on supplies. This is the first, one of the few episodes where I'm not severely short on supplies, and I have to keep cutting it out to get more and more. <laughs> a lot of episodes when I'm building, it's it's like that. No kidding. Oh, wait, no, I did, th I did this wrong now, but uh, luckily this isn't obsidian. And it doesn't really matter that I have to break this now. I wish I had shears, though. Um, anyway, I'm just going to build this uh, up a bit. Like, maybe this way. Yeah, like that. Awesome. And maybe like this as well. So it's going to be, yeah, kind of like a... Well, what do you call it? A counter, yeah. I forgot how to say counter. Wow, Crafterman, you are so stupid. <laughs> And build this in like this, and this in like this. And maybe I'll pile up one block of obsidian. I don't want to waste this, because it's kind of rare, I say, as I see the five stacks. Do you have any other fruit or food? Uh, yeah. Strawberries and, uh, carrots. Here you go. Uh, thanks. Uh, I assume that's a thanks. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> what else could HX be? Um... Here's a xylophone. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I'm just thinking of what else HX could mean. And, uh, now I guess I'll make the head. So it's gonna be, like, uh, pretty small, actually. Uh, this is not gonna be a big head ship. It's gonna be, a a humble ship. <laughs> lol. And, uh, I say lol too much, don't I? <laughs> lol. Oh, there I go again. And, uh, this head's gonna be kind of like a square, actually, to resemble my head, kind of. 
and maybe should I have a beak, actually? I wonder if I can. I don't have any orange wool, but I'm still gonna try to make a beak somehow. Maybe it doesn't have to be orange like mine. Because then Peter Crab's just gonna think I'm a narcissist building things, uh, m ma making things that look just like me, naming things after myself. Like someone does. I'm not main naming names, but it's the same person who wants to build a wall, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna build this, and yeah. So the head isn't going to be a circle like a real woodpecker. It's going to be kind of square, just to keep the Minecraft element. To show Petercraft, we like Minecraft, I guess. So I'm going to build this a bit more. And, yeah, so I'm going to make this one block higher after this. And, yeah, then we should be good. So I have tons of wool. No, I don't, actually. Maybe not. But I still think I should have, like, just enough to finish this. Yeah, I'm going to finish this with just one wool block to spare. Wow, that was pretty close. So now, maybe I'll just, uh... Should I go somewhere else so I can view this and see how it looks? Uh, probably not. Mm, maybe I'll break these just to save some wool in case I need more. And to make it look a bit more like an actual head, not just a block. It's going to be a block head. <laughs> LOL. There, I didn't say lol, I said LOL. Big difference. <laughs> Um, so this should be... I have any compass? Uh, no, sorry. What do I need a compass for, anyway? It's not, like, uh, anything. <laughs> so, hopefully I'm gonna be able to do this with, uh, this, um... Okay, this, uh, this is pretty good now. So now, uh, I'm gonna break this, this, and can I break that down there? Yeah, good. So now I need to build, like, a face on this somehow. So maybe all these will be the eyes... And, yeah, it's going to look kind of like a woodpecker. Well, it, right now it looks more like a crazy fly, but, <laughs> yeah, a very big fly, too. So this... Okay, this just looks weird. <laughs> uh, this wasn't what I intended. But, um... Let's see. Now I'm going to start building up. So I'm not pile any obsidian where I don't need to. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't do that that time. I was literally going to put one obsidian block here so I could put one here. But I stopped myself at the last second. Um, can you go get it, or can I? Um, uh, I will. But what, what does he need a compass for, anyway? So I'm just going to cut this out, guys, until I get some iron. Okay, guys, I got it. I gave it to him. So now I'm just going to finish this up quickly. Yeah, and then we can. I can start working on the inside. Also, where to put the beds, because the beds are very important in a battle. And in case you haven't seen uh, the previous battles with Petercraft, basically we justify who wins and loses by, like, who um, gives up first. And that's usually whoever's sent to the original spawn spot and can't get back over here. So that's pretty much a win if you destroy the other person's beds so they don't respawn right over here and then you kill them, so that's kind of how to win a battle. Sounds easy, but of course they're firing at you with deadly blimps, so not quite as easy as it seems. So I'm pretty proud of us right here. We transformed a half-broken ship that seemed like the useless thing ever and turned it into a really good ship that might actually beat Petercraft. I really have no idea who's going to win this battle. It seems pretty uh, equal, our chances. But... I'm liking our chances as opposed to as, like, in comparison to the way they were before, when this was just a tiny scrap of floating, like, floating material that <laughs> was absolutely useless. Um, I actually used this plane, uh, before. I flew to, like, a paradise island, actually. Um, but I tried to fly it over here. I was trying to go from village 12 to village 10, because, um... Yeah, we had just uh, lost Village 12 to Petercraft, but we had just gained Village 10, which is in that direction from Petercraft. So I tried to fly from there to there, but Petercraft's blimp intercepted me, and it shot, like, shot the engine down and left the ship mostly destroyed. But he wasn't expecting this, was he? <laughs> I don't think he was at all. Uh, so yeah. Um, so I'm pretty proud of this.
So I'm gonna just make this like this, and yeah, good. So, um, now, what should we, where should we put the beds? Uh, we have to put it in a really safe spot so that he can't get into it, but we have to make sure we can get into it so we can't make it absolutely impossible. Because, well, of course, I want, I want to get to my beds. <laughs> And this is going to be like this, so now we are almost done. I keep thinking that block is a cloud. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just keep thinking that. Or maybe it's just like a, a square of white in like an open space. Yeah, I guess that's it, but still, I keep thinking that is a cloud. That's weird. Okay, so now I'm going to make the roof of this, and then I think we are done. I was not expecting this to be so easy and quick. Wow, I am, I am again, pretty impressed with us. <laughs> Usually I have to, like, speed it up because it takes too long, but this not. Can I get some wool? Uh, sure. I'll give him some red wool. Hopefully that's good enough. Um, just eight. Yeah, I have eleven here. So, um, gonna pile this right in here. Here you, you go. Got eleven. That's eleven. Hope that's okay. Hope, hope you're not gonna die if you get three more wool than you need. Yeah, so maybe... I don't think this light is really enough for now, but... Well, I think it's enough for now, but not enough for, like, later. So, um, what uh, are you doing? Wait, I, I hope he still has some cobblestone, because we need to make some uh, dispensers to shoot arrows at Petercraft. So, uh, what is that? Oh, making a map. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to let him do that. And uh, these are some pretty cool snacks he's got here. <laughs> Snacks are always good when building a structure. That That is a number one necessity. So, yeah, I got these three more uh, pieces of wool. So now time to, like, actually make the dispensers and stuff. So um, I'll ask, do you have red stone and stone? I need red stone and normal stone. Uh, do you have any of that, dude? Give me that. So what, is there anything in this furnace? No. But it's okay. So yeah, um, can I have some, please? Give me redstone and stone. Uh, yeah. So give me the stone, please. Okay, here's some iron. Okay, I didn't ask for iron. I asked for redstone and stone. But, okay, thank you, redstone. Oh, you're doing that again where you throw one at a time? Okay, I guess. Okay, 23, that's good. And, uh, does he have any stone? Eh, actually, I'm good. So I'm just going to go out here. Uh, yeah, enough? Uh, yes. Thank you. And I... Oh, dang it. I forgot to bring, like, bows. So I'm going to have to cut this out for the third time in this episode until I get some. Okay, guys. It is now nighttime. But I got a ton of dispensers. Um, actually from the nearby Village 10, which is now ours. In the last episode, it was weird. Um, we started having Village um, 12 on our side, but Village 10 was on Petercraft's side. And we fought a battle, and now it's switched. Village 12 is on Petercraft's side now, and Village 10 is ours. So yeah, I got a lot of this from Village 10, which is nearby. So now, time to make the dispensers that were not placed in the right... Ah, dang it! I fell again. I fell again. Dang it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pile up exactly like this by breaking this and putting it back at the same time. Oh, he says, wait, uh, what, do you need more? More materials, uh, TP me down, uh, uh, no, um, good. I'm getting up, uh, unless he wants to go down for some reason. Also, I don't TP, that's cheating. If you want to cheat, then go to Petercraft's side, because he lets you cheat. That's probably why he got all that iron. He, um, some of his mining is actually legit, because Kaboominator, his deputy, is a very good miner. But, um, he does cheat for other things, like, I don't know, TPing, which, uh, this, luckily, this is um, this is on the border of my side and his side. That river marks the border. So, yeah, this is kind of neutral territory, so neither of us are opt here. So, yeah, that's that's kind of good. Somewhat good news. <laughs> so, can I pile up here? Um, okay, okay, I'm um, up. I'm the master at piling up. Oh, he fell from a high place. Dang it. I really should have put the beds here. He says, oh, no. Okay, guys, luckily he respawned pretty close to here, so we're just going to put some beds down in here. So I have a carpenter's bed, and hopefully there's still some red wool we can use. Um, says I need to go down. Um, this, this way it is. Uh, use this ladder. Like, like here. This ladder is, well, okay, um, to land. Uh, wh what do you mean? Uh, 
Oh, why? What do you need from the land? Okay, so now uh, I'm going to put my bed down here. Hopefully this is safe enough. This is a... Oh, for the map, yeah. Um, I uh, don't think uh, we need a map. Because uh, um, this battle is in one place. Just saying. If you, if you insist on making a map, then fine. Uh, it says it's cool. So, okay, I'm gonna make this bed out of obsidian just to make it look tougher. This is a really tough bed. So now, um, I'm just taking wool for the bed. Um, I'm just, uh, taking some for the bed. So I'm gonna make him a bed now, and yeah. So I'm gonna craft one right over here. Uh, wait, um, got any wood for a bed? Because we both gotta sleep here. Just so we can respawn here if we die again. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks. That's enough. Okay, I'm gonna craft one so we can both sleep. So he can take the obsidian bed. Um, and I'll take this bed. The, the normal bed. Hopefully we won't, um, respawn out, out of the ship. Please, not respawn, but, like, wake up outside of the ship. That sometimes happens and it really sucks. Okay, good, we didn't. Yay, we survived. Yay. Hooray, etc. Okay, so now let's get down to business. I'm going to place these dispensers down, and yeah, hopefully they will fire multiple things, not just arrows. Uh, coal, please. Uh, um, why? You need torches? Because, um, if you need so, I got torches. I don't have any, but you can. If it's for the furnace, then. Wait, if it's. Uh, no, I have some. Here you go. Torches for everyone! Says it's dark. Yeah, I agree. It actually is. Why did I? I kind of forgot to put those torches down in the ship. Okay, it's good I did it now. So these dispensers will fire multiple things at Petercraft's ship. Hopefully. Uh, dang, I keep placing this in the wrong uh, place though. Actually, maybe they won't be exact directly on the wing, but they'll be kind of like like this. Yeah, that that's better. So if Petercraft, yeah, if Petercraft ever comes on the ship, that way we can just fire stuff at him. This is going well now. So. I'm gonna have to make it like this, so that the redstone will come into all the dispensers here. I didn't need this many dispensers, I should really put some back so I'm not wasting any material. But here's some levers, sorry, levers, whatever, I really don't care what they're called. And yeah, I'm gonna put this button down too. So I'm gonna put one of these here, and a button. So now it should fire all of them, so now let's just test this. We'll fire these. If I'm going to fire these wood planks at you, beware of my wood planks. They're so planky. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe let's try something else. Uh, I wish we had arrows that we could fire. Actually, we'll just get arrows in the uh, later. Maybe even fire arrows, like emerald arrows. If, does those work? Because emerald arrows from the emerald mod actually are flaming. So guys, uh, wait, let me just, before I end the episode, I'm just going to go in here so I can... See what uh, X Gamer is up to. Uh, wait, where where did that guy go? Okay, whatever. So guys, it's about the end of this episode. So in the next episode, we will be fighting Petercraft.